Hello and welcome to the training of Puppet. <clears throat> Puppet has been a popular tool for configuration management where uh, we can just go ahead and uh, work on different types of uh, devices like it might be a network device, storage device or <clears throat> it might be any data centers. So it's an automation tool where it can work on multiple clients. The client may have any end uh, operating system with it. It might be running on Windows or it might be running on Linux or AIX or uh, BSD based operating environment. So Puppet uses a mechanism through Ruby language where it can go ahead and uh, perform tasks. If one specific task has been given to the Puppet master server, it just goes ahead and uh, performs the same task in uh, different types of operating systems might be any Linux or Unix or Windows based operating environment where we can manage uh, multiple servers uh, to perform an activity like uh, configure and maintain the same files packages and uh, configurations which are there so Puppet has mainly been uh, used to perform these kind of automation uh, in the <coughs> industry level capabilities so so here is uh, what I'm trying to present the puppet so the components which are there on the puppet is uh, we have puppet master which works as a master server which contains the database uh, PostgreSQL and a console and an agent mm. when it comes to the part of uh, software we have uh, open source software at the same time we have enterprise level mm, it's free only for 10 nodes commercially so we have uh, two types of installation so we have monolithic installation where the puppet uh, master uses console and the database are installed on one single machine and it's been managed up to 500 nodes whereas uh, the split installation puppet master console would be split into multiple machines and uh, it would be using more than 500 machines to manage and we have competitors for puppet which would be ansible salt and chef <coughs> that's all i have uh, with a quick introduction for puppet so stay tuned we will have uh, the puppet installation in the upcoming video where we will configure our puppet master and uh, see how we can just <coughs> perform the system administration activity as an automation thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead